Hi, I'm Peter Haddock, and I'm here with Florian at the Wackenhusen Test Facility next to its factory in Linz. Florian, you are the expert for this brand new DV45 yes. dual view machine that is literally hot off the press, and we are building this in the next two to three weeks for the global market, but also it's going to be a really interesting slot in machine for the UK market, isn't it? Tell me a little bit of an overview about it. What's the, the size and the capacity of this machine? Yeah, it has a capacity of 4.2 uh, tonnes. It means uh, we have a very compact machine and at the same time we introduced, this is really, really new, at, on this side we introduced a cabin, an auto automatic cabin that turns around. Yep. Just pressing one button. This is one of the one of the nicest and, and mainly mainly things there. So the dual view and the larger size um, in the, this model range has been really popular in the UK in particular because the added safety and obviously when we're working on job sites that are quite compact, yeah. it's really all about keeping people safe but also it is about folks having the power to do the job and to take away the muck and put it into the next place. And that starts us off really with a journey here behind the steps of this machine. We've actually got the Perkins engine made in the UK and you've actually had a relationship with them for yes. some time. Yes. You've actually been part of the whole design process for this machine and you've been working with Perkins on that as well, haven't you? Tell me Ex about that. Yeah, exactly. Together with Perkins, we figured out a best powerful engine. This is a 30, 36 kilowatt engine um, what, and we introduce it in a way into the machine that we have a good access to it. Yep, you know? yep. And so it's easily for the operator, for the, for the daily check, it's really, 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 really easy to check, for example, the oil, the yep. oil level. You see it? Yeah. Right exactly there, folks. Yep. Yeah. So in and out, dead simple and yep. pop it back in there. Also yep. maybe checking the filter, the oil filter. So it's, it's very, very good access and it's perfectly for, for the daily job. Yeah. So folks, that's a really important part of the machine and obviously, you know, hidden away there nicely. Let's walk around the rest of the machine, follow us to it. So next parts of the sort of access of the machine, are the all important visibility that we're talking about with the dual view here. <laughs> Needs some screen wash folks, but equally, We've got some really nice air conditioning in this machine, haven't we? Tell me about it. Yeah, this machine, uh, we have a cabin machine, and in the cabin machine there is, of course, heating, but also the air conditioning, a standard. Um, so it doesn't matter when it's cold in the, in the, Uni in the United Kingdom, I know that it's, it's cold and rainy. And, <laughs> or it's and, hot and here. It's, it's, yeah. You have the heater, and also for the hot days, uh, you have the air condition. Here, you have the filter for the air condition, also easy to maintain perfect access for any uh, yeah, any job. Fantastic. So when we look at the dual view, you know, again, fuel, refueling here, by the way, folks, and the filter uh, is also there for the engine, yep. easily accessible. But when we talk about the dual view, you know, we see a lot of these yes. on the job sites. I see a lot actually on the motorways and people yep. like big hire companies are taking a lot of these mach machines. Yep. The design has stayed the same uh, in the articulation as it was with the bigger machines as well. Why is that and what does, benefits does that give? Yeah, yeah, exactly. We used, of course, the, the same articulation as it is common in, in, the, in, the, in the sector. And what benefit it gives, it gives properly the benefit to have a very, very close radius to really to work for example, house buildings, yes. where you have narrow, narrow, narrow walls everywhere. Um, you are very compact with this compact and, and good articulation. You can drive everywhere, also for pipe construction and also the streets in urban areas, cities. This is, this is perfect. You know, together in combination with the rotation of the cabin, you, you have the best, the best and easy machine to do your job. Yeah. And of course, this can be matched with 4.2 ton capacity of the skip. Yeah. Yes, it's a 4.2 4 ton capacity. And of course, also here, standard wise, we have the swivel skip. So we can lift, skip up, down, left, right. Doesn't matter everywhere. You have the possibility to then fill or unload, uh, unload the stuff where, you, where it's really needed very precisely.
And I think what's really important about the different size class, folks, is actually it can be matched to different sizes of excavators as well. Yes. So you can actually get that digging done, you know, faster and uh, matching the two machines together is, is going to be really important for, for efficiency and productivity out there. Yep. And of course, yep. you know, with a dual view adds a lot of safety. And so the, we've still got the guarding there as well to, to look after the, the operator. You when know, Peter, here there. we really look to safety, safety yep. and productivity. Yeah, yeah. So it's, yeah, exactly. We are coming to that, yeah. And so for me, you know, what's really interesting is as we walk around the machine, you know, we, we also see the new systems that you've put on here. Come yep. forward for me here. So when we're on the streets, and it gets dark we need some working lights and and we also need some travel lights as well and that, that, that's a completely yeah. new design isn't it yeah exactly so especially here also the travel lights there we have a, a new a new grid you see here a smart grid you can you can of course you, you it, the light is protected but on the same time you do not have to dismount it you can drive also on the street because theoretically you would need to dismount it but you have here um, a very very small, small grid, and and so you have enough light for the for the for the world uh, and the operation. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Of course, dual view doesn't mean that you can see in front of the skip, folks. So actually, in the cab, we have a screen, and down here, folks, we actually have a camera system. But there's a tiny little thing right there yeah. on the side, Florian. What is that and why is that now integrated into the machine? Yeah, this is exactly a key thing we, we would like to have because imagine on the construction site there's always some dust, it's, it's muddy, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever, you know. And it's really, really important. So just maybe here the operator can see me, but if I'm down there, no one can see me. Just I have, I have just the camera so the camera you have always a perfect view you can wash it yep. just again pushing a button in the in the inside of the cabin and you have always perfect view for safety for all the people whatever is around there is and that's also there. important folks not just for the safety element but also to to get to where you're tipping so if you're tipping in a trench and you miss it Yes. Then you've basically got to have a machine or something's got to come along or somebody you know, physically got to come along with a shovel to, to exactly. put that material in. So that creates more hassle on site, but also creates more people plant interface, which yeah. is again, what we wanted to avoid. So coming further around the machine, folks. Again, what we've got here is um, more access, but the most important thing is about looking after the machine and having your own little area for your toolbox and obviously access to the battery, simple yep. and effective from down here, isn't it? That's yep. always something that people need to, to carry the right tools with them. And then Yeah, we... and not just that, yep. just it's also the battery, you know, you need yep. access for the battery, for example, during winter when you have to do something there, you have a perfect access, you can save time and again, the machine is the machine is running, and here you have you can took your two links, or also a drink. I don't know, or maybe drinks or whatever if, you it, want if it's cold it. enough in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> so that's there, and, and also here uh, access points again for the hydraulic oil and a simple gauge here yes. that you've added in, so you can look to see what the levels are, which again is really important from your daily checks perspective. Isn't yeah, it? for the daily check, you know, we really focused that the daily check just need a few seconds yeah. just walking around yeah ah, have a look there have a look there everything is fine i can start my work so this is also productivity in that case yeah. this was also one of our main goals for the machine yeah. so come around to the front end of the machine folks and again we we see you know the lighting setup here and again it's another camera system with its own washing system right in there but the dual view now has been in the market for a number of years and you know we recognize that how important it is to have this all-round visibility we can see how much glass there is at the front here exactly. we can also see the working lights as well can't we so important that we take all the features from the larger machines and make them work here in this model isn't it yeah of course that's it so this is why we have a lot of a lot of glass because it's so important in front, to the left side, to the right side, that the operator can see everything. So everything that is very close is of course in danger. But here we really 
saw we had to be again we focused on the on the visibility on the overview of the operator and um, so the camera is a, again another assistant but theoretically also without the camera you have a, a clear view in yeah. front you see here uh, behind the steering wheel uh, there is a lot of a lot of glass so that's perfect yeah. and so folks you know that comes to the end of the little walk around and now it's time to do the cab but wait, folks, before I actually get into the machine, there's a lot of other operator functions that are inside here, aren't there, Florian, that I'd like you to just quickly explain to me that makes operating the machine a lot easier for, for everyone. Yes, exactly, exactly. We have very, very safety functions, a lot of safety functions. For example, the hill hold, hold function. Hill hold? Yes, right. so, exactly. So I'm on a hill. You're on a hill. I don't want to roll back. Exactly. <laughs> you imagine you are in your car or somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Same, yeah. we, have, we have really the same feature as on a car, that the machine does not roll back anymore. Right, OK. And what about the skip functions, the safety functions there? Yeah. Yeah, for the, for the skip function especially, we have uh, the inclinometer, we have the tilting, tilting function. So it means when the skip is lift up, the machine recognizes it. And if the, the total, the whole machine is really too in an inclination that's too much, yep. you know, the driver in front at the seven inch uh, screen, yep. really nice and big one screen there he can see uh, he can see a warning be, a be, be it, it could be dangerous yep. uh, please move to a f more flatten flatten uh, part or area and and the machine also the speed is reduced in that case so what we're doing is we're we're keeping everybody safe on yes. the job site because you know from that we you know, we've all seen pictures of site dumpers, Excellent. standard site dumpers falling over and things like that. But this has got that added safety in yeah. and, and protection for, for, for the operator. And it's a, an alert that they get. It's an alert. Good. In fact, it's an alert. And we, we, ha we did many, many tests because imagine, especially with a fully or filled up skip. Yep. That this, this situation is the most dangerous situation and in that case we really have uh, sensors, we have two sensors, one is just for the skip to recognize mm -hmm. if the skip is up or down and the other is, is probably for the machine itself, how is the yeah, inclination mm -hmm. um, and so working these together, these, to, these functions together are working and bring, gives us the highest, the highest safety not to tip over or roll over or something like this. Yeah. Fantastic. So, Florian, what's yeah. really interesting about the cab is obviously we talked about the air conditioning and it's really hot. It's quite early in the morning here we're doing this, yeah. but it's really hot. So yeah. I'm looking forward to getting inside the cab <laughs> and turning that on. Yeah. But, you know, the, the, the cab remind us how this cab can move. It's literally, you know, you're stepping in simple push button controls, joystick controls, as well as, uh, as the steering wheel uh, to move around the machine is, is quite straightforward, isn't it? No, it's, it's really, really totally easy, totally easy. And the main access is here on yep. this side with, with all the handrails integrated into the cabin. Yep. But we have also then, when the, when the cabin is turned around for 180 degrees, we have also the exit and access from the other side. Right. Yep. You know, imagine on a, on a construction side, when between there is something you cannot, you cannot go out, especially here for this compact machine. Yep. So you working might be in right narrow here. areas, yeah, you know, yeah. and, and so on. And so we have also on the other side uh, the, the exit and access point where you can always easily get into the cab. Before I go into here and have a go myself, Florian, there's, there's one more thing that you wanted to bring in there. Tell me about it. Yes, it's the skip return function. It, right. it means normally as a operator, when you have unloaded something, you have to turn bring back the skip yeah, yeah, yeah. and with just pressing one button on the joystick the machine or the skip itself moves down in the in the home position so in fact at the same time the operator can focus on the on the on the surrounding can focus on driving and it's again much more safer because he he can just look where he's going the skip moves into the home position and driver can go to the next job. 
And we're going to have all that demonstrated by a real operator, David, who I've made great friends with. But David is slightly different to me uh, in his stature. And so what David said to me is, Peter, before we let you have a go on this machine, let's set up the actual seat so you're comfortable in here with the air condition uh, unit here inside, but also with the actual seat giving me all that comfort as I'm driving around. And so we're gonna set that up before I go on my journey around the test facility here. And I'm going to do that right now. So by the time I got in the cab, and it's about time we got this air conditioning on because it's really hot out here, Florence. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much, Florence. Thank you, it was a pleasure. So yeah, it's a, it's a bit tight in here at the moment. So I'm gonna change all the seats and I'm gonna make it super comfortable for myself. And then I'll be back in seconds to actually have a go myself. Cheers. So this is it, folks. I've adjusted the seat. I'm quite comfortable. I've used the actual mechanism here to adjust the steering wheel as well. We're going to turn it on and we're going to get going. So see you very shortly, guys. Ta-da. Oh, we've got to figure out how to close the door. There we go.